strange story breaking out of Council Bluffs right now. Fire ignites outside a home and messages of hate are scrawled on the outside. Crews are still on the scene right now at 29th and Avenue G. Jordan Shefty will continue our live coverage right now. And Jordan, good morning. What's the very latest? Yeah, good morning, Dave and Cerise. Investigators are still combing through this home right now. They are inside taking pictures. I'm told there is pretty extensive damage inside. Go ahead and take a look at this video that we shot while crews were still working to put that fire out. The interesting thing or the suspicious thing about this fire is that on the outside of the home on the garage, there are racial slurs graffitied onto the side of the garage, uh, drawings as well associated with the words that are on there. And now police or, and investigators, fire investigators are looking into this. They say that they are taking it as a suspicious fire at this time. They are inside trying to figure out exactly where that fire started. I have been talking with neighbors throughout the morning, and they tell me that the woman who lives in this home is about in her 60s. They say that sometimes a daughter and a grandchild come and stay with her as well, and these neighbors tell me that that daughter is of mixed race. Of course, we are still waiting to get any further determinations on what exactly caused this fire, but again, investigators are at this time taking it as a suspicious fire. They have been going through this house now for uh, about a little over two hours, and they they uh, still are taking pictures and still coming through the outside right now. They are going uh, around the perimeter with a flashlight, just looking at every different angle. Of course, we will continue to stay on the scene and keep you updated. Police and fire investigators tell me that they do not believe that anyone was home when this fire started. No injuries to report at this time. Reporting live for WOWT 6 News, I'm Jordan Shefty.